It's time for your PNW Ag Network Focus on Fruit, a chance to get the latest tree fruit news from industry experts across the Northwest. Sitting down again with Ashley Thompson with OSU Extension. Ashley, what's the latest when it comes to research and development in the world of pears? Yeah, what's going on in the world of pears is many folks will know with growing pears and pear rootstocks, we don't have a really good dwarfing pear rootstock, and most folks are still using old home by Farmingdale 87 and 97. And many folks want to move to tighter spacings and higher density plantings. Um, and it's difficult to do that with those uh, rootstocks 87 and 97. I won't say it's impossible because there are some folks that are doing a really lovely job and getting great fruit off those trees when they do some very um, intricate pruning and training systems. However, there are some other rootstocks that are available. They're not yet commercially available. You know, the Emelanchier and the Quince rootstocks, and some of as some of our trials where growers have been managing them, it seems like they're struggling with irrigation management and fertilizer management. So I'm going to be working with Dr. Galimba to try and make some good fertilizer and uh, watering recommendations for those rootstocks when the trees are young. What we're finding is that folks are maybe underwatering those trees and the trees are really struggling in their first few years. And we want to make sure that we're growing big, strong, healthy trees in those first few years so we can get fruit off of them as quickly as possible. For the latest tree fruit news around, visit pnwag.net and click on the tree fruit tab.